Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, everybody. It is Sunday, September 10th, and it is time for the High Risk Wrestling Recap. We're covering the week of September 3rd, 2023. As always, check out the socials, Charismatic Creations on Facebook and YouTube, Charismatic underscore Creations 52 on Instagram, the 2, 15 on Twitter, Coffee, Patreon links as well. And uh, please like, comment, subscribe on YouTube. I'm very, very close to getting monetized and I want to do it with you all and your help. But for now, let's get into the news. The next crown jewel date has been confirmed this year. It will be taking place Saturday, November 4th. Um, this will be, I think, the second crown jewel this year. And it is also taking place right before Survivor Series 2024. Survivor Series is, let me get this. I'm sorry, Survivor Series 2023. Survivor Series 2023 is taking place November 25th in Chicago. So we'll see just how uh, Crown Jewel plays into that collision. We'll be getting a special episode of Collision as we'll be going head to head with Friday Night Smackdown on November 17th. This is taking place from the Kia Forum in Inglewood, which is pretty much uh, LA. This is coming on Friday instead of Saturday, I believe because of baseball. I'm almost sure it's because of baseball. Uh, Becky Lynch will be making her return to NXT as she will be challenging Tiffany Stratton for the NXT Women's Championship that will be going down this week. And uh, part of me thinks Becky's going to win. Uh, several WWE contracts are up for renewal. That will be Ellie Knight, Imperium, Drew McIntyre, Seth Rollins, The Miz, and several NXT contracts, talents. Um, I know Ellie Knight has re signed. Uh, we'll see what happens with the others. Drew's contract is different. He had his t uh, contract extended because of the time uh, he took off uh, due to injury and personal stuff. So he's actually still on the contract up until, I believe, WrestleMania of next year. The Dudley Boys have signed a Legends contract with the WWE. They've also... Um, Reformed recently at the Impact 1000 show is good. It's good, good, good to have you know some legends here. Ace still has been fired. You can pretty much lose when he fired one CM Punk got fired. There was no reason to have Ace still there, but he may have cause to sue because he didn't do anything this time around. Um, he is uh, associated with CM Punk, which is essentially why he got fired. All out, the pay per view numbers have been revealed they did uh the show did over a hundred definitely did over a hundred thousand uh by so they did close to that um it's good i mean it's, they were definitely lower from last year just because they had all in the week before prince nana has signed a new contract with a w a multi-year contract uh with AEW and that's good he's been yeah Chris Nana he's awesome on the injury news Thunder Rosa will be making her return soon 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 I need Thunder Rosa back in my life I need Thunder Rosa back in the ring ready to kick ass the Red Velvet she has been out with an injury which I didn't actually know about um but she's also pretty close to her return um they have a lot of women on the roster, so they all need to get used at some point. On the rating side of things, Raw, the Fallout Show of Payback, pulled in 1.7 million viewers. Yes, pulled in 1.7 million viewers with a 0.52 in the 18 to 49 demo. That's up in both the viewership and the demographic. Dynamite this past week pulled in 887,000 viewers with a 0.31 in the 18 to 49 demo demo that's slightly down in both areas from the previous week smackdown pulled in 1.9 million viewers with a 0.47 in the 18 to 49 demo that's down from the previous week but that was also the terry funk and bray wyatt shows so i'm really you know that was of course it was gonna go down and rampage pulled in uh, what they pulled in 
371,000 viewers with a point one six in the 18 to 49 demo. Uh, that's kind of what's to be expected at this point. And that's, I guess that's, that's okay. It's all about what Warner Brothers is feeling. Uh, I don't have the collision numbers, but we'll get those next week. We'll be right back with you. All right, let's get into the week. That was Monday Night Raw. We had our uh, fallout for payback. So Jay Uso comes out, super over, comes out to the crowd, and he says that he knows it won't be easy because, of, excuse me, of what he's done, how much havoc he's caused with the bloodline. But if Sammy can be forgiven, then certainly Jay can be forgiven. Sammy comes out, has his back, they hug it out. Uh, as they're leaving, Drew McIntyre and Rudy comes out for their match, and they make, you know, some eye contact with Jay. And, uh, you know, they still got beef with him as Sammy plays the peacemaker. All right. Ricochet and Adam Pierce backstage tell Seth that he should take a break. And Seth's like, listen, I'm, st I'm here. I'm standing. I can fight. The Viking Raiders defeated Drew and Riddle after Kofi screwed up, accidentally hitting a uh, Trouble in Paradise, I believe, on Drew. And Drew isn't happy about this, as we find out later in the evening, questioning whether it was an accident or not. Shinsuke uh, denies Seth a rematch, which Seth does not like. So Shinsuke is playing more mind games, and Seth attacked uh, Shinsuke. But Ricochet broke up the fight, and then Ricochet and uh, Shinsuke had a match. But Rick Ricochet won by DQ. Uh, Shinsuke hit him with a chair. And Shinsuke was going to go pilmanize uh, his neck, but Seth interjected. And then uh, Seth got thrown into the steel steps. And we immediately cut to backstage. And, we, and Rhea's telling Damien, not tonight. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I like this. It was a good way to get Ricochet back into the fold. Um, got to make sure he stays relevant zoe stark and shana baszler challenge each other all rise for the judgment day and they you know say judgment day things mcdonough comes out and gives damien a new brief briefcase sammy interrupts and says he wants revenge for payback and mcdonough steps in and says he'll fight instead of dominic chelsea's mouth got her in trouble so now she has a match with uh raquel later in the evening piper nevin is sick shana baszler choked out Zoe in their match, but they show each other some respect afterwards. So probably gonna get them becoming a tag team. And Shane is gonna become like an eight-time tag team champion. Uh Finn wants McDonough to join the group, but the others wants to see how he's gonna do it against Sammy Raquel defeated Chelsea. And then she says she'll get her rematch against Rhea with a Dom being banned for ringside. The Miz was awesome. He has a Miz TV segment, right? And says that his guest is John Cena. So John Cena's music plays and he's not there but the cameraman does the scene's entrance you know what i mean like scene is there and then miz does the entire interview um <laughs> by himself while talking to an empty chair it was pretty it was pretty funny and it breaks down with him and cena fighting wink wink and hitting a skull crushing finality and then him just throwing cena out of the ring it's pretty funny. Uh, Adam Pierce tells Jay that someone will be moved to SmackDown now that he's on Raw, and they may not like that. I think this is a way to get Cody over to um, SmackDown, but they're gonna have to get some more star power on uh, Raw. JD McDonough defeated Sami Zayn with help from Dominic Mysterio. Dom tries to recruit Jay for the Judgment Day. Hmm. We need to keep our eyes on that in the main event. Gunther retain the Intercontinental Championship against Chad Gable, becoming the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion ever. Yeah. Over on Dynamite, we had our all-out fallout. Orange Cassidy comes off for some appreciation and says that he's not going home. Mox makes his way to the ring and defends the International Championship against A.R. Fox and retains. Christian confronts Nick Wayne backstage, says that he'll... Uh, He's offering to mentor him and also told his mama that he says hello. 
So there you go. Chris Statlander retained against Emmy Sakura. Uh, that was an open challenge. Roddy defeated. Well, we had Roddy's backstory. Um, he plays like the what was me character very very well. He had the the kingdom with him. Jericho Sammy defeated Aussie Open, but there was still some miscues between Jericho and Sammy. Ricky Starks video package uh, hyping him up. Don Kyle's will reveal to catch this next target next week. MGF and Samoa Joe had a really good in ring segment. Um, we're building up to this few. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to get Joe versus MGF at Grand Slam. They said words at each other, and and MGF did his best to act tough. But it's Samoa Joe, so you best not mess up. And then Joe almost murdered MJF. Uh, he's going to hit it with a muster buster. Uh, so, yeah, MJF's neck is still messed up. Roderick Strong defeated Trent Breda to advance to the Grand Slam Eliminator. And the neck brace immediately went back on. <laughs> Tony Storm is on fire with this character she's got. Uh, her and Renee have good comedic in, uh, uh, timing was really really good swerve confronted hangman and says yo essentially he's coming for hangman's spots and i am all for this push swerve to the moon brian cage uh takes out hangman and in the main event darby allen defeated nick wayne to advance of the grand slam eliminator overall impact we had our victory rule go home show Deanna Peraza defeated Danny Luna. This was good. This was the, to get Deanna a win after losing the Trinity in back to back matches and losing to Jordan Grace. Gracie Steve will end his unholy alliance with the Black Taurus. Tommy Dreamer video package hyping up his uh, career versus title match against uh, Kenny King. Also, go check out the High Rise Wrestling po Podcast as we went over Victory Road. Joe Hendry, Yu Yumura defeated Shira and Champagne Singh. Tensions flare between Bully and Steve Macklin, but they're still on the same page. Rich Swan and Sammy Callahan defeated Sub. Coach Leo Rush defeated Kevin Knight. Dirty Dango and Johnny Bravo hype up uh, Impact 1000. Trinity and Alicia have a contract signing, and it ends with Eddie Edwards putting Trinity through a table with a blue thunder bomb. That was pretty nuts. Uh, <laughs> uh, Motor City Machine Gun says they'll win the tag team titles at Victory Real in the main event. Bully Ray and Steve Macklin defeated PCO and Josh Alexander. Overall, SmackDown, we had our payback fallout in a random tag team match. Charlotte and Shotzi defeated Damage Control. I just, I just don't know. I don't need Damage Control losing more matches the oscar in front of eo after the match jimmy tries to weasel his way back into the bloodline and jimmy protects him from aj styles he attacked aj jimmy actually may be the more insecure brother we've always seen on the surface that looks like jimmy was more secure in himself and confident in himself but now that jay is gone what is he to do what's going on with him and the bloodline this this is this gets more and more intriguing week by week Damage Control says that Asuka needs to watch herself or they'll do her like they did Bianca. LA Knight talked about payback, saying Cena called the right down the middle, but he doesn't need the rub from Cena. Waller and Theory won a piece of Knight. Knight defeated Austin Theory. Waller tried to sneak attack Theory, tried to sneak attack uh, Knight. It did not work. Knight tells Heyman backstage that he's not worried about him or Roman. So, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm I'm curious to see what we're going to do uh, here. It looks like this mega push for LA Knight is actually coming on the Judgment Day defeat of the Brawling Brutes. Lastly, the Street Profits come step with them, says they're next, and they want the championship. Styles is pissed at the OC for not having his back. AJ, in the main event, defeated Jimmy Uso. Styles shot the routine, but the Judgment Day offered up Styles to Solo in the ring. Hmm. Hmm, Curious, sir, and Curious. Over on Rampage, Penta defeated Jay Lethal to advance to the Grand Slam Eliminator. Jericho and Sammy will face each other at Grand Slam. Britt, Sheeta, and Sky Blue defeated Anna Jay, Taya, Valkyrie, and the Bunny. But there was more miscommunication between Britt and Sheeta. The Young Bucks defeated 2.0, and in the main event, Joe defeated Jeff Hardy to advance to the Grand Slam Eliminator. Over Collision, we got the first of the post CM Punk era. Mox retained against Action Andretti. We had another Roddy video package, and it just emphasizes everything that's been going on really, really well with Roddy. Um, Chris Statlander retained against Robin Renegade. 
Jade Cargo made a return, everybody. And yeah, she fights off the Renegades and then lays out Chris with a Jaded. So let's see what we're doing here. They can't put the championship back on Jade, right? Um, Renee choirs about Tony's current state of mind to the outcast, and they're like, yo, she's nuts. We're worried about the Eliminator next week and who Soraya will face at Grand Slam. And they both say they like Renee more than they like Lexi Nair, because of, of course they do. Claudio, uh, uh, Eddie King said, interview backstage with Tony Schiavone, right? Sit down, interview. Him. And we want to know what's the beef, what's the real issue. And Eddie's like, you remember 15 years ago, you left us without showing the proper respects. So you went to the land of make believe, i.e., the WWE. Uh, and now they got some beef and they'll settle it at Grand Slam in the championship versus championship match. So, uh, Claudio's Ring of Honor World Championship will be on the line against uh, Eddie Kingston's New Japan Open Weight Championship. The Bullet Club Gold won a squash match. CJ Perry video package saying you don't renounce her and she wanted to help her husband. She's going to go back to being a great manager. Phoenix defeated Angelico. Luchasaurus attacked Darby before his match. This was so funny because Darby was skateboarding to the ring and then Luchasaurus just showed up. So he told me he was just like off screen I don't I don't know like Darby didn't see see him um Roddy defeated Darby to advance to the Grand Slam and eliminated both men played up their injuries well but Roddy got the better of it with the king king of the backbreaker and Nick Wayne shoved AR Fox in frustration because Fox with the check on uh Darby and he still has not forgiven uh, AR Fox Hobbs says he will get more guidance from the book Keith Lee tells everyone a collision to essentially run Brian Danson comes up, says he's going to start to put a close on his career and he's going to call his shot with the first being against Zack Sabre Jr. at Wrestle Dream. This is one of the dream matches that we have all, all clamored for. Hoping, I'm hoping um, Danson could be in the G1 next year. Starks and Big Bill come out and Ricky says after he woke up um, from being unconscious during the strap match, says he, he remembered one thing, he won't be denied. And now he went from being hungry to being greedy. Danson offers him a spot in the BCC. And Big Bill attacked. Mox tried to help, but he fell and Ricky choked out Danson. And in the main event, Samoa Joe defeated Penta to advance in the Grand Slam Eliminator. Our matches of the week from all out. Brian Danson versus Ricky Starks in a strap match. Because, of course, it was it was great. Also from all out, uh, Kanosuke Takeshita versus Kenny Omega with the shocking win of uh, Takeshi defeating Kenny Omega also from All Out Bullet Club Group which is FTR on the Young Bucks and of course the main event from All Out which was just absolutely fantastic John Moxley and Orange versus Orange Cassidy for the International Championship from Raw Gunther versus Chad Gable for the Intercontinental Championship and from Impact on the go home show, Leo Rush versus Kevin Knight, our star of the week. It's tough. This is really, really tough. Uh, I would give it to Orange Cassidy because he's just been on a major role, but I'm actually going to give it to Jimmy and Jay Uso for these new um, storylines and career paths that they're taking because I'm curious to see what they're going to do and how they bring these two brothers back together but that is our show thank you all for listening thank you all for watching next week next time on the high risk wrestling podcast we'll be looking at the greatest matches in impact history stay tuned on instagram for more uh impact stuff because we're on the month of impact don't forget the socials charismatic creations on facebook and youtube charismatic underscore creations 52 on instagram the 215 on Twitter spelled out coffee, Patreon, and as always, Zyle, Gigi Dolan, Bailey, and Isla Dawn. Holla at your boy. Peace.